Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Um, I can't actually believe that I haven't actually done a review of the Caveco Sport, the plastic variants. Um, I did seem to remember that I did one early on, uh, uh, back on my Fountain Pen uh, Journey, quite a long time ago. But for some reason I must have deleted it. Anyway. I'm going to cover this pen again, a review of this uh, Caveco Sport pen, mainly because I have quite a lot of these and I love them. These are probably one of my favourite pens, certainly one of my favourite pocket pens, the design of which I like. Um, I do like the uh, Delike Classic Alpha, which is in some, view, some ways a bit of a rip-off of this very pen. And I have several of those in the different colour variations, different materials. They are also available in acrylics, which in my mind are often a lot nicer than the acrylics that the Caveco Sport's in. So I like the design of the pen, they write well, but this is the original. The design dates back from the uh, 1930s. Classic pocket pen from Caveco. Um, I'm just going to cover out over the uh, various parts of the pen. Um, this is the Caveco Sport, which you can just see in silver writing on there. This is the Frosted Coconut. So it's the Caveco Frosted Sport Coconut Ice or Coconut something, anyway. Um, very small pen. Very, very, very small pocket pen. All plastic. Um, there is a Caveco brass sport, and you can get the pen in different types of metals. The cost of those pens is considerable uh, in comparison to the plastic versions. Um, I'm talking about sixty-eight pounds in the UK for the Caveco brass sport. The plastic versions, which are the Caveco Sport Skyline, the Caveco Frosted Sport, and the Caveco Ice Sport, are all much, much cheaper, about £17, £18, depending on where you buy them. Um, unscrews, I'll just do a quick demonstration of how many turns, because I know that's important for me and many people. So it's just less than one and, a half, one and a half turns, and these do screw and the cap secures very, very nicely. There is a bit of resistance, don't have to push it too far, it's, you know, it's fingertip tight, that's not going anywhere. So very reliable from that point of view. Um, inside the cap, you'll see there is a liner. Now, these pens do not come with a clip. Um, the clip is an optional extra. You might pay an extra £5 for a clip and you can get the clips in either a silver coloured or gold coloured finish. And they just slide onto the uh, onto the cap. You can position them wherever you like on the cap. So you've got a clip. Um, it's a pocket pen. I don't really see the need for a clip. But most importantly from my point of view is these pens have got facets. The cap is faceted. So... They don't roll away, so you don't actually need a clip to stop them rolling off your desk. So unscrew that. We have a section where the nib and the black feed, plastic feed, fits in. Uh, this one is a medium. It's uh, the nibs, the steel nibs, are available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad. Um, so you've got a lot of nib options with these pens. Unscrew the barrel. There's the section with the uh, various components to uh, to insert a cartridge. Now these take standard international short cartridges, um, but I'll talk about the filling mechanism a bit in a little while. And as you can see, this pen is quite small. Really, really quite a dinky little pen. However, if you post it it becomes a decent size. So it's a very, very nice, comfortable, nicely sized pen to write with when posted. So if you need to take really quick notes, you can just uncap it, scribble away, cap it. But if you want to write for a longer period, then obviously I'd always recommend posting it. These pens post 
excellently. They post deeply and very securely. You don't have to push the thing on very much. It just goes on and it is very, very secure. So very satisfying posting experience. It's deep, it's smooth, it's snug. So read into that what you will. Sounds a bit rude. Um, so, <laughs> yes. One minor gripe, of course, with any pocket pen or in my mind any pen which you're going to use to take quick rough notes <sighs> unscrewing the cap is always a bit of a pain but at least you don't have to screw it on to post it so you know i'm happy with it decent length at the back there is a silver finial with the Quebecer logo blah 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 so that's the pen so this is the um frosted sport version this is the frosted sport uh, mandarin colour which to me is a little bit peach um, I do want to show you the packaging because it is very unassuming packaging you get cardboard box with Caveco Skyline now this is another version now the Skyline pens as you'll see I still haven't used this one yet the Skyline version of the uh, Caveco Sport are solid colours. There's no translucency uh, to the plastic at all. And as you can see, this is the um, this is unused, still mint in box. This is the uh, Fox colour. Now it was a limited edition. It's still available as far as I'm aware. So it's this uh, lovely, I don't know. Uh, antique orange colour. It's coming out quite orange under the camera, but it is a little bit more uh, muted. Uh, this one's got medium nib. Yeah, standard fare for the Caveco Sport. And you almost always, depending on the seller, but you almost always get a standard international blue ink cartridge with the Caveco Sport. So you can just pop that in your pen and start writing straight away. So that's the packaging. Not a lot to say about it. It is very basic. You're not paying a fortune for the pen and you're certainly not paying a fortune for the packaging, which is good because, you know, most people, packaging gets thrown away. This is all, you know, basic stuff. So there's no extravagant boxes with these. Um, what have we got here? Yes, we've got another, yes, another um, unused Caveco Ice Sport in orange. Um, I have two of these pens because I absolutely love them. So this is the Ice Sport. This is the translucent version. This is a, this is another orange one with a medium nib, and this is the yellow one with a medium nib. Now, one thing I will talk about now is the filling mechanisms. We discussed it. it takes short standard international cartridges they're not proprietary cartridges you don't have to buy the Caveco cartridges though you know they're obviously fine um, and I have in I've actually emptied out this cartridge and refilled it with a different ink um, which I'll talk about when I do the writing sample so very basic filling mechanism from that point of view this orange one Caveco Ice Sport Orange. As you can see, the barrel is clear. Um, so these are the Ice Sport version is a demonstrator pen. So people do like those, and I like them because you can see what ink level you've got inside uh, without having to unscrew the barrel. Now this one, you'll notice I have eyedropper converted it. You can see the ink sloshing around inside there. And this is a really, really straightforward operation. Very simple to eyedropper convert these pens. All you do, unscrew the barrel, hold it like that, get an ink syringe, suck up ink from a bottle and fill the barrel. And I usually fill it to about there, so that it's just about a centimetre thereabouts away from the threads, because you don't want to fill it up too much, otherwise you're going to end up burping and all sorts of other problems so you fill that part and the threads or use uh, use this to demonstrate so basically you fill your fill your barrel up to about there and on the threads of the section here on the outside all you do is get a couple of dabs of silicone grease and just run those round oops 
run those around the threads like that wipe off any excess because you don't want that all over the place getting on the nib uh, with a tissue you've got your barrel full of ink just screw it back into place and it'll seal I've never needed a, an o-ring on these I find that the Caveco Sport when it's been eyedropper converted doesn't leak very very rarely if ever leaks I've used this ice sport orange for a year and a half and never had any leaks refilled it several times and it's great so that's eyedropper eyedropper converting the pen now obviously this barrel holds an awful lot of ink so you're talking several milliliters of ink as opposed to the tiny amount of ink that you get in the um, standard international cartridges now Caveco do produce a um, a uh, cartridge converter for these pens um, but it's a little bit messy it's also tiny it's got a tiny little ink capacity um, and I just prefer the convenience of being able to insert a cartridge if I don't wish to eyedropper convert these pens um, obviously if you were eyedropper converting something like the uh, Skyline Sport which you can't see inside of then you know you're going to have to fill it up and it's going to be the same process but you won't be able to see where the ink level is and you won't see all the lovely coloured ink sloshing around inside the pen so you know up to you do whatever you please this is a fountain pen journey for all of us and it's great fun so I'm going to talk about the uh, the nibs on these pens. I'm going to do a quick writing sample for you. This one has got a medium nib, so that's the pen. This is the eye sport transparent clear demonstrator version there we go I managed to get it all on one line I find these nibs absolutely superb the steel nibs yeah you're not going to get any flexi line variation but I don't care um, the very good quality nibs decent wetness good line the medium the fine broad double broad all of the nibs that I've used in these pens have been excellent so I mean I know that this is the cheapest end if you like of the Caveco range there are cheaper pens as a per KO um, which I don't like the uh, design of particularly so yeah really really good pens um, if you want to know the ink this is uh, Diamine Sunset Diamine I always call it Diamine very very good orange not too dark very colorful suits this pen perfectly um i will use the yellow ice sport now so this is also a medium nib I've never had any issues whatsoever with flow, feed issues, nothing at all. Um, these are excellent writers, really, really good. Um, you can write for hours with these, and 
they're just great. The keeper, no problem whatsoever. Um, this ink is a Krishna ink, and it is called Jungle Volcano. And I absolutely love this ink. It's um, it's quite a reddish uh, orange, a little bit dark, a little bit darker, less colourful than Diamine Sunset. But it's got this wonderful green sheen. Now, what I'm going to do is, at some point, is do a ink review of Krishna Jungle, Vol Jungle Volcano, simply because it is such an amazing ink. Uh, I've never come across anything like it. I love it. absolutely love it. It's got this green sheen, this thick, heavy green sheen that almost masks the orange colour. I mean, you can see what happens when you spread it out, you get the orange colour. But when it's really, really laying on a lot of ink, this really does give quite an amazing sheen. So what I'm going to do eventually is do a review of Krishna Jungle Volcano in this pen with the medium nib. And I'm also going to get another uh, Caveco Sport with a double broad or a broad nib and just illustrate how laying down more ink really develops a great green sheen in this ink so please do hit the subscribe button if you want to uh, find out when uh, when that video gets uploaded don't forget to click the button twice the bell twice to get all notifications about videos that I do otherwise you might only get selected ones that YouTube decides you might want want might want to watch so please uh, please do subscribe if you want to be notified of when that video gets released um so caveco sport in its plastic variations ice sport the clear version frosted sport the plastic translucent frosted version surprise surprise and of course the um the skyline sport which is available in this one which is the fox limited not limited uh, edition special edition color so 2019 special edition color um, it is available in a whole range of other finishes in in other colors black white red green yellow blue uh, macchiato which is a sort of milky coffee color which is a very nice one um, and it goes on there are some art sports as well which are different sorts of acrylics with um, different colored swirls in which have been generally quite limited production runs and too expensive for my taste, especially when you can pick up a Delight Classic Alpha with the same type of colours, um, if you don't like the plain colours that these pens come in. So, there's the Caveco Sport in various colour variants, in the plastic version. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this interesting. Um, like I say, if you want to know when I do the review of Krishna Jungle Volcano, this ink down here, um, please do hit the subscribe button to be notified of when my new videos come out. I am recording quite a lot of videos at the moment because I've found that I'm quite, well, Basically, I love making them. I, I like talking about my fountain pens and nobody else listens to me. So you obviously came here for a reason. I hope you found it useful. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.